I am presenting here a series of uh, fourteen chapters from my audio book titled Ancient Sages of India. This is the first one in the series, which is the introduction. India is the land of the great sages. The country has been blessed from time immemorial by the advent of innumerable sages. Many of them are unknown. Most of the sages who discovered the truths contained in the Vedas are not known. But there are other sages about whom we have information. The epic Ramayana, for example, has been presented by sage Valmiki. The other well-known epic, known as Mahabharata, and the various uh, Puranas are given by sage Vedavyasa. Ramayana and Mahabharata contain stories of many sages and their lives. The epics and other religious literatures indicate the contribution of these sages towards uplifting of human ethical, moral and religious standards. The sages are the great souls who have devoted their life, energy and experience for the welfare of the people. They are extraordinary human beings having character worthy of imitation. They gifted everything to the world without seeking fame or any kind of gain. Welfare of the world was their sole objective. When they were young boys, they received education in places known as Gurukulas. When they came of age, they led a family life. In old age, they retired to forests and lived there with their spouses, exercising strict control over their senses. While living in forests, the sages with their spouses were engaged in meditation and thinking in the peaceful environs of the forest. They engaged in teaching those who came seeking knowledge. They also provided such people with food and shelter. Thus, the sage couple used to play the dual role of teachers and parents at the same time. As a result of their constant and hard meditation, they could grapple with the problems and see the truth in their pure inner selves. They spoke out what they experienced and taught the same to their disciple. The Hindu way of life is deeply influenced by the lives of these great sages. The period of the ancient sages according to Hindu chronology is till the end of the Dwapara Yuga which is about 5000 years back. The penetration of these sages in the subjects they dealt with is very clear and profound. Their intuitive power did not stand against reason. The exposition of thought was thorough and penetrating. The Puranas project the sages to be more than a life figure and give them a lifespan of thousands of years. The link for the book as well as the audio book are given in the description part of this video.